Firefox. Good evening. This is Anand, lecturer of English, spoken English trainer and uh, communication skills trainer. I have written a book named Anand's Spoken English. Now it is available in Flipkart also. Actually, most of the spoken English books, they give uh, different methodologies and techniques. And uh, I have given extraordinary methodologies and techniques. One among it is magic with mouth gymnastics. You know, actually, most of the students, they don't know how to speak in English fluently. If you want to speak in, in uh, if you want to speak in English fluently, you are in need of good practice. That is the very, very important one. But it is pitiable that most of the students, they don't have basic knowledge of English also. Basics are very, very important. I have covered everything in my book and uh, nearly 33 chapters it has. And today, I would like to share with you one technique uh, named mouth gymnastics in this video. And every day, I'll give one technique uh, relating to spoken English, okay? What is the technique is mouth gymnastics? Okay, what is mouth gymnastics and why should we do it? How much important it is in spoken English. I, I have done a lot of research work and in my research work, I have found that speaking in English, most of the, nearly 60 or 70% of the uh, spoken English depends on four kinds of sentences only. Sentences of state, sentences of action, sentences of position, do sentences. So, and uh, if you do three types of mouth gymnastics for, uh, for all these sentences, we can get 60 or 70% of English. In my book, I have given clear idea of sentences of state, sentences of action, sentences of position, do sentences. Clear idea. What are sentences of state, present state, past state, future state, a state started earlier, present state, is there more, I'm in the classroom more. Past state, I was in Jamal Madhu yesterday, was where we use. Future state, I shall be in Kadapa tomorrow. The state started earlier and continued up to this time. I have been in Pradhutur for two days. So, and how to prepare questions for that also very, very important. Are you a lawyer? Yes, I am like that. You should do mouth gymnastics for these sentences of state and sentences of action also. Sentences of action means those are nothing but tenses, you know, action words generally we use these sentences. You should do more gymnastics for this and what is it means? I play, I don't play, do I play? We play, we don't play, do we play? You play, you don't play, do you play? He plays, he doesn't play, does he play? She plays, she doesn't play, does she play? He trains, he doesn't train, does he train? Uh, they play, they don't play, do they play? So that is a very, very important one. Type one practice, more gymnastics. Type two practice is, do I play, do we play, do you play, does he play, does she play, does he train, do they play? Am I playing, are we playing, are you playing, is he playing, is she playing, is he training, are they playing, like that. Uh, type two, more gymnastics practice. Type three, do I play, am I playing, have I played, have I been playing, did I play, was I playing, had I played, had I been playing, shall I play, shall I be playing, shall I have played. Okay, that is the practice more gymnastics. Uh, in my spoken English book, I have given 
uh, on more gymnastics clearly uh, and all the sentences of state, sentences of action, sentences of position. I have a power, I don't have a power, do I have a power? Do sentences, I do it, I don't do it, do I do it? Those things are only. All these more gymnastics, how to prepare questions uh, with these uh, interrogative questions for these uh, things. And uh, nearly in the first, uh, I have written nearly 33 chapters in my spoken English book, you can find uh, 33 chapters. And uh, uh, we can buy this book with me also if you contact uh, uh, the following phone number uh, 9440165536. Also, you can get my your, uh, you can get the spoken English book through the uh, courier, and you can buy that one in Flipkart also. And uh, it is a four hundred pages book and very good book. And uh, okay, and uh, mouth gymnastics technique is the very very important one in spoken English. Clearly, you can get a good idea of uh, what is the point. Everything uh, nearly up to thirteen chapters and uh, twelve or thirteen chapters on. Uh, Sentences of state to sentences of action up to, I think, eight chapters. I think uh, sentences of state, sentences of action, sentences of position, do sentences uh, and the questions and answers, more gymnastics practice. Everything I have given there. And uh, please, what is that one? Buy my book, uh, spoken English book. And if you want to watch introduction video of mine. Uh, my book and uh, that is one hour introduction video. Go to my YouTube channel, Learn English with Anand. Learn English with Anand. My YouTube channel is. Uh, go to my YouTube channel and watch the video of uh, uh, my spoken English introduction video. And uh, what is that one? With the book and uh, uh, if anyone buys my book and uh, if they buy, my book and uh, they can get uh, nearly more 60 videos on spoken English okay and uh, that is that one and uh, this is the first tip I have given mouth gymnastics technique very very important one okay and if you are interested try to buy my book and uh, try to uh, do the practice well and uh, okay uh, good night all of you thank you please uh, okay